Welcome, welcome, brothers and sisters, friends and neighbors. Welcome to the second episode of AJN, Andrew's Joy Network. No fear, just the truth. New beginnings. The sun is rising. And we welcome you. The water is fine. The truth is expanding our minds. Come on in. We are conquering fear with truth and joy here at AJN. Thanks for helping tear the veil by joining your humble and happy reporter, Andrew, for another uplifting episode. Remember, you are well loved by the Creator of all things, and if you love Him as well, don't forget to let your face know. Also, smile and laugh. Joyfulness really pisses off the little liar and his rotten little minions. Now, for the real news. A man realized that his pride and joy, his old faithful companion, his combo grill, smoker, flat top, turkey fryer, back massage unit of many years was on its last leg. Supports were rusted and collapsing. He called several of his neighbors over for a final barbecue slash send off for the faithful cooker. Mr. Ezra Surety, one who we hold in high esteem, assures you and me that though there may have been a tear in his beer, the neighborhood greatly enjoyed the ribs, steaks, chicken kebabs, <laughs> and barbecued veggie bits for the two vegans across the way. All agreed that even better than all the tasty treats was the simple pleasure of gathering together for a visit rather than just the occasional wave or good morning. Most everyone brought salads, chips, and desserts to add to the soiree. Mr. Surety added, you can certainly see why they put the luck into pot luck. Well, thank you, Mr. Surety. Now, a little birdie told me that Ed, who had the big cookout, is in for a big surprise as his missus has a big birthday surprise for him. Something tells me he won't ha be hanging up the two-foot-long tongs for long. Well, good for you, good neighbors. Now, for our next story. One of our dedicated mailmen has just worked 1,700 days in a row without being bitten or chased by any dogs. When asked about being chased by any lonely, lovely ladies, he declined to comment. Um, um, well, we here at AJN salute you, Keith, and thanks for trudging through the sleet, the rain, and the snow for our eagle, eagerly awaited correspondence. This just in, no silent trees fell in the forest, no rams butted any dams, and no ants knocked over any rubber tree plants today. And, and now for our founding fathers quote of the day. Founding Fathers. Quote of the day. Well, apparently, the great General George Washington and our first president, 
of these United States famously stated, it is impossible to govern a nation without God and the Bible. We, 21 guns, salute you, sir. And as an aside, if the current crop of alleged leaders allegedly defending our beloved Constitution in D.C. and many capitals of states as well, and many other city states <coughs> in Rome <laughs> and in London, could if they could actually touch a Bible without scorching their hands or turning into pillars of salt, we here at AJN highly recommend swiftly seeking the nearest copy and partaking. Start with Psalm 91. It will explain much of you scullywags. It will explain much to you scullywags and carpetbaggers. And now for our Christ quote of the day, folks. Our Christ folk. Our Christ quote. So, the lawyer had answered to him and said, You, sh you shall love the Lord your God, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And he, Jesus, said to him, you have answered rightly, do this, and you will live, meaning eternally, in heaven with the Father. So that is Luke 10, 27 to 8. Now, we also have our wonderful new Patriot quote of the day. Our new Patriot quote of the day. Don't be a worrier. Don't be a worrier and worry and worry and be filled with fear. Don't be a worrier. Be a warrior. We salute you, all the light warriors, and truth seekers. And this quote of the day, don't be a worrier, but be a warrior, is from Charlie Ward. Charlie Ward has been a seeker of the truth for many, many years, two or three, since he's been doing videos, and you can find him on BitChute. Now, I would like to add a few of my own thoughts here in our editorial corner. And that is, brothers and sisters, just remember how well you are loved. And, yay God! <laughs> and we're holding the line, and that is his line. We have to do the work. We have to take action. You have to decide. If you want to follow the creator of all things or the enemy of all goodly godly. And you can't sit on the fence, folks. The folks, the, the folks um, understand that the fence has always belonged to the little liar. So remember, you are the apple of Papa's eye. And that's it for episode two of AJN, Andrew's Joy Network. And I hope that you join us for our next thrill up the leg, exciting episode. And we send you on your way with happiness, joy, and loving kindness. Give great thanks. Be bold in how you lead, I know, as you guide people in God's goodly godliness and try to give somebody encouragement and a hug today. We thank you for joining us. We have no fear. We have just truth. Let the other drama queens report on fear, division, and self-doubt. 
we know the truth here at AJN. And we thank you very much for joining us. And we send love to you.